EK should record now. Mike. Hey YouTube, it's PC Smith here. Um, I'm here with a friend um, called T Gaza on Roblox, and he's actually redesigning the car which um, I'm driving and has a lot of bugs in it. Hey Thank YouTube. You. Yeah, I'm the brains of this uh, operation, as I say. <laughs> So what we're right. actually doing is we're redesigning the scripts to make them work more efficient and take out, the, well, possibly all of the bugs. It's just yeah. basically it's just going sense. through every single uh, every it's single error and just uh, finding out what's wrong and then trying to work around that error, like we've got here. A vehicle nil value. I have to find that in the actual car itself, and then find out a way of actually getting around that. Which hopefully by the end of hopefully tonight <laughs> we'll have a working car. Yeah, even the um, suspension I'm driving is really bad, but the car is quite a nice car, and it deserves. The ability to drive in a nice way. So we're determined to get it down and prove that it can actually drive as good as it looks. There we go, first test. And that might be a little bit louder. I don't, don't know if it's coming over loud on your side. So we've got no driver. Right, okay. The, the camera seems to work now. It, it might... Hmm. Um, camera didn't malfunction then when you sat in it. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, good point. Yeah, there we go. We're actually putting the, the car inside the plan. So that bit is actually working. Yeah, it's it's not actually glitched now. Yeah, the camera's fixed. <laughs> that's brilliant. So that's working. <laughs> right. So this little bit here is uh, trying to work out where the vehicle is from the GUI inside the uh, seat but finding out where the uh, the actual car is and I'm just trying to work out where it is in the actual car itself before we actually jump into the seat into the driver's seat uh, if I can find it there we go so that was <clears throat> I think that was under lights, wasn't it? Uh yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yep, yeah, that's the one. Right. Let's see if we can reference make sure the vehicle is actually there. So it's Actually, calling the on. I suppose I can just do this. If there's nothing, if there's uh, that value is not equal nil, I can do a scapegoat. If vehicle not equal nil, then do that. Nice and easy. Hopefully. <laughs> then it just sits dormant until it actually gets inserted into the player GUI. And then that, that's, that value gets set. So I don't think we need that weight. How are we inserting that GUI? Let's have a quick look. Uh, Uh, 
Right, I need to change that around. You need to set the value first and then insert the GUI. Otherwise it will return nil. <laughs> right, so. Now what I'm doing? <laughs> As I say, cut that bit. It's got with his deleted part. No, that's fine, that's fine. Because the way it loads is it goes through all the GUIs in the uh, car. And it just references up here, sort of clones them in a little table first. And then if you wanted to, you can actually get rid of the uh, GUIs by uncommenting that uh, seats names destroyed. Where it keep a copy in the script. But as, uh, hey, what's your, your name? name? Sean. Sean, yeah. yeah. As Sean stated, it might uh, you might actually copy the uh, the car when the game's running, which which would cause an error, where these would disappear. So we left it as an option. So you can un uncomment it if you don't think you're going to copy it while the game's running, that sort of thing. And if there's any part of the GUIs that are missing, it spit out an error into the uh, at, at the moment, the output, which is a bit overflowing, <laughs> the what is missing. So let's just say P computer is missing from the C. It would say error, GUI named P computer, not found in vehicle C. So then you can actually fault find exactly what's going on. If everything goes right and everything gets cloned all right, at the moment just cloning everything that's in the car. So these are not staying there. These are sort of dormant, not actually being used. We're actually using the clones of them. <clears throat> so basically all I'm doing then is making sure that a humanoid is in the driver's seat with all these checks here, like uh, if, if, if the part is a weld, a seat weld, that sort of thing, at the usual stuff. And then working out if it's a player, which is that little function there. And of course it prints out if it's a player. Then we're going through the player GUIs, which we insert in them all, rather than going through a uh, script parent GUI name, let's say script parent dispatch, script parent peer computer clone, etc. etc. I've done I I'm using my table, which is new, new GUI, which is my table index clone. And then all I'm doing is making sure that there's a value inside the GUI called car object not equals nil so the GUIs can actually use that value kind of link, linking the two together and then all I'm doing then is just copying the GUI over to the player GUI or backpack thing that's basically all, all, all that script's doing and this little bit here is just making sure that uh, oh we've just seen an error because <laughs> I'll just rename that from car to car body just making sure that all the GUIs in the player actually gets removed. That's basically all that does. We um, 